What's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to the Assassin's Gaming, my name's Rob and this will be episode 44 of the Borderlands uh, 2 Fresh playthrough uh, but before we begin I have to apologise for the last episode I mentioned the Badaboom uh, which is a legendary weapon that King Mon can drop but I had no information about it, it's not normally a weapon I use, I don't really use rocket launchers so that was quite poor on my part because I mentioned it and then couldn't really tell you anything about it so here we go the Badaboom is a uh, rocket launcher that is uh, manufactured by Bandit. Uh, it can come in any element, so it can be corrosive, shock, slag, explosive, so forth. And the main attributes to it are... It fires six rockets, but it, only at the cost of one. Um, but then the accuracy is reduced a lot uh, so it's not very very accurate but for every one rocket you shoot it will actually shoot six so there you go ladies and gents I hope that's a little bit um, a little it's definitely better than what I gave you last week because what I gave you last week was oh this is a rocket launcher I don't know anything about it so apologies for that and going forward I will try and have the information beforehand uh, if there's going to be a legendary popping up in the game. As I said, with a lot of the legendaries, if I use them, I know all about them. Um, but the ones I don't use, I haven't done my homework, so... So there you go. Anyway, without much further ado, let's get into it. Okie Koki. Here we are, back in... Sort of Cauldron. I want a fire weapon for this. I mean, the damage is greatly reduced, but... Right, so as I mentioned the last time, ladies and gents, pretty sure I did, there's a very increased chance of getting loot midgets in this area. So we're going to do some of the missions. Let's see what we got available. Oh, that one we can do another time. Uh... Let's do this one. Or part of this one. What we'll do is we'll just do certain things up until a certain point and see how it goes. Okay. Make sure. Got full ammo. Okay. So, as I said in the last video, ladies and gents, uh, loot midgets, they can pop out of pretty much anything. So, they can pop out of those, although it's very rare, but I have had one pop out of that. They can pop out of these. We will check as we go around. They can pop out of these. Uh, and as I said in the past, loot midgets have a increased chance to drop legendary weapons. So we will check. I'll show you where they could potentially pop out of here. Yeah, the grenade. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, that's just great. I'm not going to pick up any whites now. Any white weapons. I'm just going to leave. Oh, I thought there was one by me then. Right, it's quite poor with that sunlight coming through there. Very hard to see that. Okay. We're not facing our. Can't face like him. Let's run up there and just kill him. We get some buzzards up here now as well. Uh, for the buzzards. Just gonna quickly switch back to my corrosive, and that's the reason why, ladies and gents. You can see how quickly that was taken down. Then, as was that. Switch back to 
Fire. Okay, so going back to the loot midgets. These are just places I checked that one. These are places they can spawn out of. Couple of places up here. Check these lockers. Welcome, welcome, faithful listeners. No. Corner, oh, I picked up 90. one of the Echo uh, the recorders no there, as you can see. Uh, hello, five billion Echo Cash subscribers. Maybe get out of the Stone Age, douchebags. Not another it's one around there. You. Finally, a fan. Yes, Kai. Kai's Corner. Autograph cost a buck. No, no, no. It is you, the chosen one. Chosen. Chosen one? Okay. So store. far, so good. I mean, so far, no good. Well. Okay. Right, there's a couple more places over here they could be. Nope. Okay, no luck this time. So there's a place we can drop to down here. Ah, uh, where is it? Just drop down here. You don't tend to get them up here. Because um, it's such a small space. But there's loads of places down here as well. we got to go down here anyway, ladies and gents. But... Okay. Go ahead, get rid of him. Prepare for die. Leave it. Another one up there. Yep. So let's just go ahead and get rid of all these around here. Okay, now they're gone. Check in here. Any of any of these type of things, these cover boxes over here, ladies and gents. Crates here. Okay. Go and check over here. What's that? Transfusing grenade, not interested. I mean, we could go through here and not get a single midget. Or we could go through here and get three or four. But what I'm going to do is show you everywhere that you should check. If you come to this area and you want to try and get a loot midget, I will show you every single place you should check for one. Here. You will never get one out of these things, ladies and gents. These round, circular ammo things. And the uh, <coughs> seven years I've been playing this game, never once has a loot midget come out of that. And I've never seen it on YouTube. It just doesn't happen. Right, so there's going to be more enemies up here. Come on. Okay. Better shield. Okay. So. Places up here, ladies and gents, they can pop out of these lockers. Nope. This box. Nope. These three cardboard boxes over here. 
Nope. Pistol. Okay. These two boxes here. Okay, there's uh, another box over here. Ammo box on the... Uh, not ammo box. Look right around the corner. Oh, hello. Okay, let me just check. What was the base damage on that? That. So my other one was two. That's better. Okay, and it's Hyperion. Good. So there's two more around here now. There's one here. One over here. Okay, no joy. Carrying on. Here. We'll take that, it looks fun. Okay, there's two here. Not worried about the white pistol. Okay. Trouble, yeah. On me, idiots. Okay. Put my gear. Just won't kill everyone. We need to kill everyone in this area anyway, ladies and gents, for the mission coming up. We want to have as little, uh, even though more enemy, more enemies are going to spawn. Want as little as possible here at the moment. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay. There you go. Wasn't worried. Okay. Let's just keep checking and that we're also now checking for health. There was one there, two here. Back up where we just were, there was three that we didn't check. Ah, oh, my bad, my bad. There's three up here. Wow, it's been very stingy. Couple down here, ladies and gents, we can check. Oh, right, I'm gonna pop that on. That's a better shield. As I've explained in the past, auto-equip things by holding X on it. One up here, ladies and gents. I've, very, I've never had one out of there. Never had a loot ninja come out of that box. Eh, I'm not going to use up all my inventory on pistols. Okay, carrying on the search. Now, I do realise that this isn't the aim of the mission at the moment. To find loot midgets. But I am feeling that my guns aren't particularly awesome at the moment. Um, at this part of the game. You know, I'm level 30. And my incendiary SMG does 172 base damage. Which I feel is a bit low. So. The reason I'm looking for loot midgets is because I'm... I'm hoping to potentially get a much better gun. If I could get a better SMG as well. Whoa! Be laughing. But it's being very stingy. 
I know we're on the first playthrough as well, which means that the chance of getting loot midges is reduced. But I thought I would have had one by now. Never mind, continue the search. Do like the iridium. Well, there's two over here. Wow. I am amazed. Now, that's not all of them. I really thought I'd have had one by now. The one there, no. One over here. Oh, I picked that up. I didn't mean to. Oh, look at that. Hang on. What am I doing? Got a better century SMG. Well, only a couple more places we can check. This is being very, very stingy. Oh, you won't get one out of here either, ladies and gents, these uh, square lockers. Well, I think that's it. I think we've just done the whole of this area, and there's not been a single... single loot midget. Oh, ow. A few more places we can check, I forgot. Over here. A couple of lockers up here. One's already been opened. Nothing. And then under here, we got this. And then these lockers. Well, I'll be. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, there you go. That's the way it is sometimes, ladies and gents. Right, so this... This... Mission we're doing here, capture the flags. Around the entire map entire area that we're in you'll see you'll find three of these things these uh i suppose you could call it like some sort of generator which raises the flag so you place the flag now that you got the flag on there start the generator to raise it all the way. just stick by that start the generator the and then basically the up, you'll get a swarm so of enemies come now and try and destroy the generator Now, if they do manage to, as you can see, the generator's got a life bar. If they do manage to destroy it, it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the mission. You just restart the generator. And you don't start from scratch either. So there you go, you can see that they've managed to um, disable the generator. Shut up. So, who's uh, but all we need to do, as I said, first things first, spend our uh, point. Where was I specking into? Oh, that's right, yay, we get ruin. Okay, so... As you can see, ladies and gents, this action skill augmentation phase lock. When you phase lock uh, people now, sorry, you slag, electrocute, and corrode all nearby enemies. So this is this is a must. Out of all three of these bottom ones, the bottom ones are kind of what you aim for. Uh, for me, it's ruin is a must. There you go. We just start the generator again, and it carries. You can see the flag going up. And now we, uh, we get some more enemies. So as you can see, I phase locked him and his health is already going down. I don't... 
I haven't even shot him yet. And you can see he's taking Kuro damage. That's just simply from the phase lock. So there you go. He, he lost a lot of his health then. And, uh, that was just simply from my phase lock. Oh, look at all this lovely iridium. Dal, and it's quite low. And on that. So, yeah, what, uh, sooner or later, ladies and gents, the wave of enemies will stop coming. And that will just raise. And then what we have to do is destroy this generator. So that... There you go. That's one of three. Uh, look what I just found. Two more. No loot midget. Yay! Right, so what we have to do is we've got to go through here. First thing we've got to do is change the mission. So, I mean, we could pretty much do these. All three at the same time so I'll put it onto the story mission so that we know where we've got to go but the other two the chosen one and capture the flags we can kind of do them at the same time I'll show you what I mean as we're doing it so for this one we just got to get here the Guana Grotto you got to steal some Y94 double charges if you want to get into the info stockade and find the war take the elevator to get to where they store that was funny. Come on, I know you're behind that box. Yes. Bye. Right, so again. I mean to pick that up. Uh, all of these, ladies and gents, have a chance for a loot midget. But we're not going to spend all day on them. I'll just open them up as I go around. You know you know now why I'm searching in them. Oh, hello. Okay. To 18 iridium. That's good. It's not bad. Oh, would you please stay still? I just phase lock him. He was so small that my phase lock was enough to uh, just kill him. Completely empty. Okay. So the aim here is we have to go up uh, this elevator. But the elevator doesn't come. Now, little tip, ladies and gents. It's asking you to press this button, as you can see. If you need to sell stuff and ammo up, do it before you press this button. Because as soon as you press this button, you're going to get kind of like an onslaught of enemies. So, Welcome to my humble shop. I'm going to take this time to get rid of the stuff I don't need. Do you know what? I'm tempted to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, <clears throat> I'll get rid of the hail as well. <coughs> yep, bye Hale. Okay, so Goodbye, just friend. ammo up.
That looks like a Tesla in the item of the day, but I can tell it's rubberized in the picture. So it might be a Tesla, it might be a Fiberst. It is a Tesla and it's rubberized. Called it. It would be fantastic. Fuse time is 0 0.1. Incredible. It's rubberized. You don't want it, ladies and gents, rubberized. You throw it and it just bounces all around the map. It's so annoying. It doesn't necessarily go where you want it to. So, um, there you go. Right, okay, let's. Oh, there we go, loot midget. No legendary, but we got a loot midget, ladies and gents. And out of all the things, this bloody thing over here. Right, so what's going to happen is I'm going to press this button and we're going to get an onslaught of enemies, so... Aw, oh, look everybody! It's a witty bitty slab trying to use our elevator! Get him! Well, who's this? This one... So we're going to get enemies from the rear here. Quite big enemies. Oh, come on, reload, reload, reload. Okay, we're all gonna get back up anyway. Stay still. That was obvious we were getting back up. We'd only just gone down and he was almost dead, so. We good? No. Uh, Oh, I have a Tesla. Looks like the elevator. Rub that health. You got a piss mortar off, so he'll take the elevator down. The bone breaker. Mortar's prized buzzing. Go find it. Come on, out you come. Let's just hide by you a sec. Get that phase lock back. Finish him off nice and easy. Okay. Where's he going? Come on. There's a nice loot chest here. Would it be nice if it wasn't so rubbish? <laughs> Couple of chests around here we can open. Okay. Pick that up. Okay. So, if you look at this... Oh, we got a thing to redeem. Uh, melee damage. Lovely. As you can see here, ladies and gents, I'm basically, as I've said in the past, with the bonus stats, I'm just working my way from top bottom. So I'm even across the board. That's a pretty good badass rank now, 174,582. That's taken quite a long time to get. Right, um, so this mission here, uh, the chosen one, Kai, it's, uh, you can see it says pick up Kai's Echoes. There's one just outside here. Uh, in fact, both of them are just outside here. I'll show you where both are. See one. Well, See one over there because it's. So oh, two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Why have you gone down here? Oh, 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 o
Where's the other one? I've killed a lot of people. Okay. So the one echo is over here, you can see because it's highlighted blue, yeah? How all of Roland's training, all his experience counted for nothing once he met me. And then the third and final one, ladies and gents, is just over here. We are going to get thrashes by here as well, okay? Feel this thing around my neck sapping me dry. Here they are. Okay, so the third and final uh, echo recorder up here, ladies and gents. Oh, hang on. Got more to tend with. Wrong move. Lovely. Wasn't even close. Well, I'm worried about that. There's the last echo recorder, so that mission's now complete. Now give me my money back. So, par the second flag is just by here. Now, I think what we'll do, ladies and gents, because time's getting on, we'll do this flag, and then I'll end the episode there. And then when we come back in the next mission, we'll carry on the other couple of missions that we're doing, all in this area. Uh, including, obviously, the story mode, which is the one highlighted at the moment. So, what we're going to do is... First things first. So, this part consists of buzzards. Uh, buzzards. So, the first thing we want to do, ladies and gents, is switch over to our... Uh, ...rosive weapon. Put the flag up. Hit the generator. Now, the buzzards come from this place over here. It's known as the buzzard's nest. Here they come. So, there are actually people up there trying to snipe us. There's one gone. I think there's one over here. Got him. Right, so these are going to come down now. These people want to get in on the party. Stay still. Okay. Oh, I still want it back. Ah, I see it. Stop. Cool. Right, more buzzards. We should have more. Well, this is going to be relatively easy if that's it. But it does look like that's going to be it, ladies and gents. No, there's no more coming. So as soon as that's got to the top, it does go very slow. Yeah, as soon as that's got to the top, we'll destroy the uh, generator. And then we will continue in the next episode. You got the flag raised, now bust the generator! Job done. So... Uh, there you go, ladies and gents. As I said, in the next episode now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with these two missions. Obviously, we can we finished the chosen one. 
So we got the other capture the flags and you know toilet uh, trouble. Uh, as I said though, we can just do that as we're doing this. So uh, yeah, we might need to might need to do a little bit of a detour for that the last flag on that one, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to get all of these done, all of these missions. Uh, we're going to get done before the end of the game. So. So yeah, there you go. As always, ladies and gents, uh, if you if you enjoyed it, please 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 leave a like. If you've got any uh, questions, suggestions, or, or just comments, you know, uh, we're always happy to read uh, the viewers' comments at Dasas Gaming. Uh, and as always, if you are watching these videos on a on a regular basis, please 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 subscribe. And if you do, just go ahead, press that little bell icon. And it will keep you up to date with all the latest Assassin's Gaming videos. Um, as always, my name's Rob. Uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.